A customer sent in a CPC4 module for repair, and the customer is experiencing the following issues. Truck won't start, def tank empty, and intermittent no communication. So we have the CPC4 module here. We'll start by performing a bench test on the customer's module. That way we can verify the failures that they're experiencing. Now so far it looks like the CPC4 module has connected perfectly fine. We'll begin by attempting to dump the memory. All right, it looks like it failed to 33% for reading the customer's memory. So we'll go ahead and exit out of the program, disconnect. Let's go ahead and pull the fault codes. See if there are any records of the failures the customer indicated. Ah, no, uh, looks like it has a communication error, so interesting. I guess this issue is intermittent. All right, we're gonna use some hot air to expand the connections between the CPU and the board. If this is successful, this will confirm the module needs a reball of the CPU. All right, I think that's good enough for now. All right, it looks like the heating of the CPU has temporarily resolved the issue. We were able to pull the fault codes. So at this point, we'll go ahead and perform our reball repair on the CPC4 module. If you'd like to view the reball process, you can check out our previous video on CPC4 repair right over here. All right, the reball is done. Let's see if the module is still having issues. Go ahead and power it up and give it some juice. So we'll go ahead and read the speed limit for this, just, just to verify that we can. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and go into the fault codes. Read the fault codes. All right, so we have quite a bit going on in here. A lot of these are normal because they're not hooked up. Now, if you remember previously, we could not dump the customer's flash chip. So we couldn't read the CPU or the EEPROM. So we'll go ahead and try and do that again. All right, we were able to successfully read the customer's P flash and D flash this time, as well as their EEPROM. Looks like we've resolved the faults with this module and we've successfully put another trucker back on the road. If you need your CPC4 module repaired, please check the description below for more information on our services. If you enjoyed this content or found it helpful, please remember to leave us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching.